Hello YouTubers and welcome to Baggy Wrinklers episode one. Uh, this is the first uh, in a series of how to's. Um, I'm going to take you through how I um, enjoy um, boating on my Do 436 Classic um, and uh, manage to do it on a bit of a budget. This is the first episode. How to take uh, parts from eBay or Amazon um, and turn your windlass, if you have one on your boat, um, into a remote windlass. Um, so without further ado, um, I'm gonna uh, take you into the forward cabin and behind here, up here, is the solenoid. So I'm gonna take you through um, buying the kit. I'll put some links in the description um, where you take that remote, uh, you get this little remote with you as well, with it as well. Um, how to install that, um, show you where the solenoid is, how to connect it up, um, turning uh, the buttons that are up in the chain locker, which I'll show you in a bit, um, so that they still work, um, but you get remote capability so that you can actually deploy or retrieve the chain um, from the cockpit. Um, very useful if you are single-handed. So without further ado, I'm going to take this cover off, um, swap cameras, and uh, we'll get cracking. So, hopefully you can see me. Um, first off, you need to gain access to your uh, windless solenoid. Um, obviously turn the boat's power off. Um, turn it off from the isolators, not just the... Uh, windless switch because um, it's live all the time um, I'll just go through this don't forget to like share and subscribe while I'm doing this um, hit the little bell and you'll be notified when there's new videos one thing I did when I took this off and I'm effectively showing you the working product not a complete how-to is this front board on my do for actually came down to about here and um, didn't leave much uh, space so when I realized there was all this dead space underneath so six screws quite easy um, If you haven't done this for a while and got access to the solenoid, um, worth actually taking the solenoid off and taking it apart and cleaning the contacts. Um, so, let's take this panel down. Let's get that out of the way. You are left with the back of the chain locker. Um, obviously, you could probably do this with uh, uh, many different uh, types of boats, not just do for. Um, most have um, a similar solenoid unit. I've got a Lofrans um, windlass, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but literally, um, let's just take you off the mount. What we've done is we have just added that little box which comes with the kit um, and wired it in and what I've done is I've piggybacked it off the back of the solenoid. So if you just bear with me. So basically the blue wires and the black one at the back uh, right at the back right back there um, that's your controller um, what I did was take that box back home obviously you can do it on the boat I then soldered um, and crimped um, these new spade plugs um, which again um, I'll link to um, soldered those onto the controller um, brought it back to the boat, mounted it, 
and then what that allows you to do is plug the uh, controller um, spades straight onto the solenoid um, and then it allows you to um, effectively plug the original spades um, for from the switches um, up on deck um, back onto the solenoid quite easily it's probably the most simple way I found um, without splicing wires etc um, so that is as simple as it gets um, three spade connectors um, let me just turn the camera around so three spade connectors um, quite simply resoldered onto uh, the controller so you cut the originals off I think it came with um, a little eyelet control um, uh, terminators so you can screw on um, cut those off uh, recrimp the piggyback spades on um, I say which I'll link to um, brought it back to the boat plugged it in um, must admit had to switch the wires a couple of times just to get the right in and out configuration um, but it is that easy um, and I'll go upstairs and show you it working there it is there um, let's quickly get up on deck I'll just show you let's just check uh, right. windows and powers on ah, it's a beautiful day in sunny Plymouth switched camera angle over and you can see I've uh, tied my anchor up but so switches switches still work that's it out and then on this controller uh, you turn it on um, so one button here out and uh, you do need to be careful because on both of these controllers um, it will throw a lot more out than just the buttons so again on this one you got out and in um, and you can see it puts out about a foot each time you press click the buttons which is not quite the same as when you um, push those buttons down there as you see, I think Lofran's charge, well, upwards of about £150 for the um, uh, the remote. Um, £13 or just over, I think it was £13.20, including um, the little um, piggyback spades um, linked there or there, not sure which. Um, and you've got remote control um, all the way from back in the cockpit so just in case you need that um, it's quite a simple thing to do a nice little project you can get to your boat over lockdown um, but this is probably going to go out um, when everyone's back um, back boating back um, living aboard, being able to go places, etc. So um, there you go, nice simple job. I'm going to go and uh, put the um, cover back on. As I say, if you are um, doing this and taking this cover off for the first time or you haven't done it for years um, and you use your windlass, then just remove the solenoid. Make sure that you've got all your power turned off and isolated and your batteries isolated um, undo everything up on the top there uh, take it off undo it take it apart um, there is a simple um, quite big um, steel contact that you can then take apart and clean uh, clean the carbon off uh, because there's a lot of voltage that goes through the solenoid um, what happens is it just gets carbon up so a couple of years ago i had an issue when pushing the buttons upstairs just got a click um nothing else 
Um, and obviously I thought at the time, oh dear. Um, so couldn't use the anchor or couldn't use the windlass. Had to pull it in by hand. Um, when you've got 10 mil chain, that's um, a bit of an effort. Um, but a uh, quick investigation, took the solenoid off, cleaned it, put it all back on, worked a treat and has done ever since. So that's it. Um, that's from Baggy, Baggy Wrinklers. Um, first instructional video. There's going to be uh, a series of this as I um, uh, go through all of the things that I do on my boat uh, to save me money. Um, hopefully it will save you money too. And so that's it. Baggy Wrinklers out.